In this video, I'm going to present a problem that I struggled with and had to work through with Answer Set Prologue. And the question was to write an ASP program to determine if nodes of a given graph can be colored in red, green, or blue without two neighboring nodes having the same color. So one thing that really helps me is to draw it out visually first. So we're going to draw a graph. We have node 1, we have node 2, node 3, and then we're going to go node 4. And we can draw these out as actual nodes on a graph, like so. And then we will do something so we can know that they're connected. And this is not a directed graph either, so you'll notice we don't have any arrows or anything like that. Uh, we just have four nodes and they're connected with edges. These, uh, uh, let's see, right here, right there, that is an edge. So given the fact that we know there's an edge that tells us right away one of our relations or one of our predicates is going to be edge. Switching over the computer very quickly, we can see how to represent this knowledge using ASP and uh, Spark. So the very first thing we're going to do is add our sorts. And for our sorts, we know we have nodes. And for the nodes, I'm going to do something in Spark where you can give it a, a range. So just do pound sign nodes equals one dot dot, oh, I'm sorry, one two dots and then a four and then a period and then we're going to give it colors and let's go with red green and blue it's a little bit different than what we did on the uh, on the board but uh, you'll get the point so next thing we're going to do is give our predicates we have node and that's just going to be nodes and then we have our edge, which was the relation that we picked out on the board as well. And that's going to be nodes, nodes, which all that's saying is that a node is connected through an edge to another node. And then last one is has color. And with has color, we have nodes and colors. And what that represents is that a node has a color. So now we're going to give it our rules. And I'm going to paste in the first set of rules, which are the edges. And all this is doing is it's saying that edge 1 is connected to, or node 1 is connected to node 2, node 2 is connected to node 3, 3 is connected to 4, and then it goes uh, back down all the way to 1 be uh, being connected to four. So if you have a hard time kind of visualizing that, just draw out the nodes and you'll see that every node's connected to one node on the right hand side and one on the left. And so they each have uh, one edge, or they each have two edges going out uh, to individual nodes, and this represents that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say edge x, which x is a variable, so edge x to y, so that just means that there is a node that has an edge y if edge y x. And there's a little bit of duplicate logic in there. A few of our rules essentially represent that, so this isn't the most necessary thing, but I like to put it in there just as a matter of practice so that I uh, kind of reinforce that uh, that it, this is not a directed graph and the edge x it, uh, has edge y and vice versa. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our disjunction and that just uh, essentially for a procedural programming language that's uh, using the term or. So we're going to say has color and n which is a variable so that just represents any node so we say that n has a color red, or, and or is represented by this pipe, or n has 
a color green or N, the node, has a color blue. Okay, so uh, what if we ran the answer set just like, if we ran the program just like that, it would give us a ton of answer sets because uh, anytime you use disjunction, it uh, gives you every available option possible and especially if you have it like this three times. So it would essentially iterate through each one of these items and then it would come through each one of the edges and then it would give you an option for every node being red, everyone being green, everyone being blue, um, but we wouldn't have any way of putting in our next rule, which is the most important one, which is ensuring that there's no way that any neighboring nodes can have the same color. And so the way to do that in answer set prolog is this symbol right here. And with that, what that's essentially saying that it's impossible to do anything to the right. So we'll, I'll show you what that means here in a second. So we start off with that and then go edge and one and two has color and one C, and I'm using the variable C, uh, which represents col any of the colors, and then has color and two C, and then lastly, we say that N1 is not equal to N2. Okay, now there's a lot that is going on. This actually completes the program right here, uh, but I wanna show exactly what it represents. The, uh, what this says, if translated into natural language, is that it's impossible for any nodes that are connected, such as N1, it has an edge to N2, if it has color N1 to C, and if N1 has color C, and N2 has color C, which, if you notice, C is actually the same variable, N1 and N2 are two different nodes. So it's saying if nodes one and two are connected and node one has a color C, which let's say it's red, and node two, which we already know is connected, has that same red, that this can't happen. And so we're saying it's impossible for this to happen, so we're blocking this from being any of our answers in the answer set. And then we're finalizing it by adding this last statement to just ensure that node one is not equal to node two. So in other words, we're saying, uh, you know, one isn't going to be connected to one and two is not going to be connected to two uh, and so forth. So uh, we will save this and then we will run it using Spark. So we'll go Java, Jar, Spark, and hold on one second, let me see what I called. This is just called testing. Testing.spark, and I'm just gonna do dash A. And that's gonna give us all the available answer sets. Okay, and let's see what we have here. So, if you look at each one of these, and I'll take out one of these lines and we'll, uh, each one of these is an answer set. So um, let me copy this and pull it into a notepad so we can actually analyze it a little bit easier than in the log. So the first thing it shows are our nodes. So we have nodes one, two, three, and four. So it created those for us, so that's great. We'll separate it out. Then we have our colors, red, gr uh, green, and blue. That's perfect. Now we have our edges. We know that one's connected to two, one's connected to four, all the way down. So uh, it did our edges properly. And then lastly, and most importantly, it shows our uh, which ones have which color. So we have node one has color green, node two has color red, node three has color green, and node four has color red. So we have uh, none of our nodes that have the same color as any of their neighbors. So this program worked perfectly. It only printed out 
and uh, load only gave an answer set for the uh, correct graph, so we uh, correctly represented uh, our knowledge in this problem. If you have any questions or any improvements that you think could be done on the program, please uh, leave those in the comments section. Thanks so much.